Hi everyone. So in this class, we are just gonna learn that how to download the Bootstrap and how to work on it. So first of all, just open the website of the Bootstrap, which is getbootstrap.com. And now we got the website here. You can see that Bootstrap uh, is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JS framework for developing responsive and mobile-first projects on the web. So by the way, here you, you can see some things like full of features, one framework and preprocessors. We, they will use the um, SAS and LESS by the way. So I'm just going to click on the download bootstrap button. So when I just click on there, now I'm in the page of download bootstrap. Currently 3.3.5 have a few, has a few easy ways to quickly get started. So there you can see that the bootstrap download bootstrap button and then there is a CDN. So we learn how to use the CDN without downloading. So now just simply copy all these lines. Okay. The first one I'm just clearing you that uh, the first one is the link link tag which means that it has the bootstrap.css file and this is the bootstrap.js file. The both files we need to copy to run the bootstrap and the middle file the bootstrap theme.min.js is actually the optional theme you can see there well we won't use this in the course but I'm just downloading because they are just giving us the way to download so just go to the file I just opened I just saved the bootstrap folder and here the bootstrap folder oh double click there now there is the index.html which we are working for here is the file so first of all just uh, create the basic HTML um, way the basic syntax of the HTML and then the body tag all these things are necessary you know then just go to the hate tag and inside the hate tag just put the title tag first okay and after the title tag I'm just pressing enter and just putting this file here all these files the link file the link relation style sheets the both are the link files and the third one is the script file now one thing more I just want to clear you that it won't work specifically the script won't work actually the bootstrap is okay and the theme is okay as well well I'm just gonna deleting this theme right now because I'm just I don't think that we'll use this by the way and what is this script tag it has the bootstrap that means means some kind of uh, JavaScript files but the problem is that this file the min.js requires the jQuery .js file okay so if you just want to work with the bootstrap js file you have to download the boots uh, the jquery but what is the difference between these files and why they placed two files instead of single one because there are a lot of actions which actually can be happen on the jquery for example the accordion the collapsibles and the other things like that the animative things which can be only happen in the bootstrap in the jquery but now we can do in the bootstrap using the colossus so we need the jQuery as well. So let's just go to the browser again and press enter. Sorry, click on the plus button and just type jQuery.com. Press enter now. And there I'm just going to the jQuery website. Okay. So for the jQuery, let's just click on the download jQuery. Okay, jQuery is really is a really interesting and important source to develop interesting web pages. So there is the two type of versions. You can see that jQuery 1.x 1, 1 and jQuery 2.x. I'm just going to the 1.x because uh, it has uh, it, it is really perfect for me. So by the way, there are two versions in the 1.x. You can see the download the compressed production jQuery, download the uncompressed pro development jQuery. I'm just clicking on the download compressed production jQuery here now. This is the jQuery compressed production which actually has no enters, no line breaks and no space, no extra space actually. But if I just click on the download the uncompressed in development jQuery, now you can see that it has uh, spaces, line breaks and actually the beautiful syntax looking easy but definitely we won't do anything inside the jQuery.js file so it will be perfect because we are not gonna do any action inside the file. So let's just copy this or the better thing is to just right click on the download the compressed production and just click on save link as. Now where to save the file? Let's just go to the bootstrap folder. And here, this is the jQuery um, 1.11.3.min.js file. So we can click on the save. The other thing is, 
let us go down and now you can see that uh, using jQuery with a CDN if you just remember that here these are the CDNs of the bootstrap the max CDN that bootstrap CDN you can see that okay so here in this class I'm again doing the same thing I'm just copying this one okay the script tag of the bootstrap with the CDN here I'm just simply copying this and pasting there here with with an inter just before the bootstrap in the JS. okay this is really important to put the jQuery file before the bootstrap dot mean dot js file so now we just applied the bootstrap completely this the last thing about applying the bootstraps in your web page is that this these files are not necessary on many things or many actually features of the bootstrap but in some features these are really important but for the most of features of, of the bootstrap we don't need to apply the bootstrap the jQuery file and the bootstrap.js file by the way this is the time to test that we just apply the bootstrap perfectly or no so I'm just typing div here okay and inside the div I'm just uh, typing hello or I'm just putting the h1 tag in here I'm just typing hello saving and just double clicking on the file the index.html and I'm just going in I'm closing this file closing this file and closing this file and this is my this is the main file of mine there is a text hello you can see that it has a lot of changes from the simple h1 tag because we didn't apply any kind of uh, CSS but the bootstrap but the other thing is if I just type a class here this is a way to work on the bootstrap jumbo Tron save that and go to the browser and refresh that now again it's uh, taking a little time because you know that uh, we are just applying the bootstrap through the CDNs means own lion go there and now you can see this big jumbotron here just uh, just at the back of this hello text now this is called the jumbotron and the whole thing is called the bootstrap why this came here just because of the bootstrap so I hope you understood the bootstrap we'll learn some more things in the next class stay tuned and goodbye